All right, guys, today we're doing a quick, quick intro right now on what's going on. We're going to be taking ad mob ads using the new ad placements, and we're going to be putting the Unity plugin. So we'll be importing it all through Unity. And uh, then you must have Unity 2017.4 or higher. And then we'll be putting ad placements and an ad game object. And then we'll deal with banner ads, interstitial ads, and a rewarded ad. We'll be putting all that into my app using Unity and the new ad placement. So you could follow along. It's not much coding. It's very minimal coding. And then we will check out the CPM and the CPEs of uh, Google AdMob in a quick review. Anyways, let's get into it. Okay, so first thing you're going to want to do is open your Unity Hub and you're going to want to select the project you will want to use this in. So in my, that one. So once your project loads, and let's go to the main scene. So first thing we want to do on the main scene is we want to put a banner ad. So let's download the Unity package. I'll leave a link in the description to this. We're going to import a package. And there it is. Google Ad Placements. Import. Sure, let's update them. Oh. Okay, let's enable auto resolution. Let's add selected registries. Apply. Okay, now that that's done, finally, let's right click on scripts because I'm I'm just gonna make a new script to avoid confusion. <clears throat> C sharp script, we're gonna call it Google Ads. And if you need this script, I will also leave a link in the description to the script that I am now creating. And in this package manager, Google Mobile Ads wants some authorization here. That's fine. So in void start, instead of start, I'm going to put it in the awake because I want it to load before everything loads. And we're going to basically say, I'm going to copy and paste here from the Google documentation. And to do that, we're going to need to be using Google mobile ads dot api there you go now everything seems to be working okay so on awake it will initialize the ads let's save it and now let's let's attach it to the camera There it is. So first step is to go to assets, Google mobile ads, and click on ad placements. However, before you do that, you got to go to assets, Google mobile ads and settings, because we have to enable Google ad mob and we have to type in our ad mob app ID to get that. You got to go to your Google, dashboard or your ad mob dashboard and find your app ID there or create one if you need to. Okay, so after getting your app ID, you post it in. If you have iOS, post in your iOS one there too. And now we're ready to go to assets, Google mobile ads and ad placements. And here we have a couple of demos. Uh, let's delete them all. And let's add a banner and post in the banner app ID. If you have an iOS one, put it in. 
persistent and auto load just so we could see what it looks like. Now we go to game object. We're going to Google mobile ads. We're going to add a banner ad object to the scene. Then if we click it, you see you could change different sizes. I'm going to go with smart banner. I'm going to put it at the bottom. You could change all that. And then there's callbacks that you could use if you want, which is fantastic. So if we press play right now, our test ad would load. So let's put an interstitial on the best decks no limit page. So look for the best decks no limit. I'm guessing it's this one. Just to make sure, let's check it. Best decks. Yes, this is it. So we want to put the ad here. That's easy. Go to game object, click on Google mobile ads. Let's put an interstitial ad. Let's click on it. And I think we could use the same ad placement or not because that ad placement could already be used. So what we're going to do to avoid problems, we're going to go to add placements. We're going to create a new one. Let's call it interstitial two. And let's use the same ad unit ID. I don't think that's going to be a problem. It's going to auto load and it's persistent. No, let's not have it persistent. Now we go to it. We could call it the interstitial two on callbacks. So once the ad is loaded, we want to show it. So we click the plus, we're going to drag in the interstitial ad, and we're going to go to the go to the functions, look for interstitial ad game object, and we're going to show if loaded. That's once it is loaded on the scene. So let's go back to our scenes menu. We're going to save. We're going to click play. Our banner should show up. Or over here for that matter there it is then then once we click on best X no limit our ad is there if we go back and go again our interstitial is there again beautiful now we're gonna switch to rewarded ads so we need to find a button we need to use we're gonna use this one for that case we're gonna delete this on click because I don't want to cause confusion so let's create a new script called rewarded button. And I just completely messed up the spelling, but it's okay. And we're just going to type in game object dot find. I'm going to call it button. set active false save it let's go back let's look for our button actually let's call it something else we're gonna look for a button called rewarded so let's change this name to well rewarded And it's going to set it active to false. So let's see what happens. It's not going to work because I didn't link it anywhere. Set it to the camera. Let's see if it disables that button. Okay, so it did. The button's gone. So now we add a rewarded game object to the scene. Go to game object, Google mobile ads, rewarded ad. And it's here, but there are no ad placements. So let's go ahead and do that.
Let's go to Google Mobile Ads, Ad Placements. Let's add one. We're going to call it Rewarded. It's going to be rewarded. Let's get the ID from our ad mob. And once we have it, we stick it in there. Persistent, not persistent. Okay, now that that's on the scene, on the callbacks, on ad loaded, we're going to drag in our button or the rewarded. Let's go to our button and we're going to go to game object set active true now we look for the button and when the button is clicked we're going to add the rewarded ad and we're going to show if loaded and let's go The rewarded loaded. I can't tell if it's disabling the button or not because it loads instantly here, but the re everything seems to be loading perfectly. And that's how you add both banners, interstitials, and rewarded ads. Now the CPM. So as you could see, my CPM with AdMob was about 13, 15, and on good days, $20. And this is Canadian. So US it would be about $10, probably both same $15 and $20. So you're looking at an average of probably $15 US depending on your topics. So the CPM is good. Mind you, this is not mediated yet. I'm going to get into the mediation soon, how to mediate, how to add other mediation uh, companies or ad, ad network companies to your ad mob account. It's that easy. Anyways, guys, follow, subscribe, like, check the description, the comments for all information you might need. Till the next one. Cheers.